Tuesday night. A pair of game fives. Ooh, in big two, game, two series. Big Sixers game. going to Toronto. Blazers going to Denver. Then we got inside the NBA. We hit the air at 8 o'clock. As far as that Sixer Raptors game, everybody talking about that guy, the claw. Learning from Timmy, Tony, and Manu. They've been doing it for so many years. Uh, and that's just Kawhi's personality. I think, I think he just sees it as basketball and plays the game. And I don't think any moment matters. Where he, obviously, he sees time and situation, but regardless of the fact he's going to play his games and take his shots, do it at his pace. And if he makes them, great. But, um, you know, he's just an even keel type of guy. This guy's out there doing it with, like, no expression on his face at all, right? To borrow a phrase that everybody uses, this is a grind. These things are these things are grinders, and being even keeled and professional, hardworking, tough mentality is what it needs on each each game and each each possession. Really, both ends. I've seen him going on pretty you know good streaks like this throughout different seasons. Um, not too much in the playoffs of this high, but um, I knew he was very capable. Um, I didn't know it was. Kobe, you know, Kobe and Mike numbers, or you know, it's pretty impressive. I, I'm not really into comparisons, but um, in this era, in the situation we're in right now, he's he's pretty damn good. Yeah, he's been okay. Um, scored at least 30 in four straight playoff games, so every one in this series and six overall. And um, I mean, he's been great. Uh, but you look at some of the numbers from the series. 38. Chuck and it's 38. Like, like Philadelphia's owning the owning the boards. They're owning the bench points. They've doubled them up. It's 84 to 42. In fact, James Ennis has more points off the Philly bench than Toronto has off their entire bench in the series. But Kawhi has been that dominant. Yeah. What can you – if yeah. you're Brett Brown, what can you do? He, he thinks there is I, – I just don't think – there is a physical body that is capable of slowing him down. Because you're playing in a seven-game series, your advantage stays your advantage. So meaning, when they put small on him, Jimmy Butler, he posts up, so he's able to get those baskets. When they put big on him, Ben Simmons and or Tobias Harris, his ball handling ability is allowing him to get to the areas of the floor. Either you double him to get the ball out of his hands and make other people beat him, beat you, or he will continue to shoot 60% because he has the advantage. There is just certain nights and certain guys you have the advantages in this league, and it, this is the team he has the advantage on. And he also, he is the Ron Artest of, of, of the NBA in this defense right now. He could score 20, and he could stop you from getting 20. At one time, Ron said Test used to be that when he was with Indiana. He does this, but he could get 30 and stop you from getting uh, to and, 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 and listen, I just look at uh, Ben Simmons, Tobias Harris, and Jimmy Butler. He's not that – well, Ben's bigger than him. And Jimmy and Tobias, I think they're around the same size. I think they can compete more than letting the guy get 38 a night. Uh, I mean, 38 a night is a lot of points. I mean, you're going to be able to slow him down one game. And, they, and I'm disappointed that they haven't been able to do that. I mean, because the sports are about competition. You just can't let a guy just kick your ass every night. I mean, you got to say, you got to, in the words of Shaquille O'Neal, you got to man up. What has Joel Embiid <laughs> got to do tomorrow night in game five? He got to dominate. He got to put up some big numbers, and, you know, he has to dominate. No excuses. I know he's battling injuries, but forget that. You know, the process is over now. You're doing well. You're doing a lot of antics. You know, you showed off great, greatness. Mark, Mark Jackson even said you're one of the greatest big big guys to ever play the game. Show me. I'm going to be watching. So no, num no specific numbers in mind tomorrow night? 30, 14, and 3. 3 what? Assists or blocks? Well, blocks. To me. you got to have a big game though, right? Yes. Yes. He's, and it's just simple. He's got to be the best player on the court. And, 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 okay, we talked about what we said about Kawhi. There is no physical body who really can guard him on the right. other team. Uh, as oh, well. well, we just disagree. Oh, jo I mean Joel. Yeah, Joel. So well, Joel, well, same, Joel's a little have the bit. same because yeah. he could take a saw out and take him off the dribble. He could yeah. do things that Kawhi is doing. So again, if he starts to get into that advantage mode, the, the advantage. Stays. And also, we be, we gotta stop letting Ben Simmons off the hook. He gotta play too. 
he get a check. Yeah, Jimmy Butler telling him, you gotta, you got to attack every <laughs> time you have Push the ball the tomorrow. Yeah. Kenny always talks about, like tempo. Ben Simmons, he's, he's, uh, he had a triple single a couple <laughs> games. <laughs> I mean, you got to yeah. get bored and have a triple single. Yeah. Come on, man. Hey, a very special triple birthday uh, on this Monday. Who is that? Willie Mays. Oh, oh man. Say man. hey. Turned 88. Man, the, the catch off the bat of Vic Happy Wirtz birthday, Willie. at the hey, Polo one, Ground. One of the great gentlemen ever. Oh, oh my God. Him oh. and Hank Aaron, both who oh, are great gentlemen. Also from Alabama, both of them. From 1954 to 1973, an All Star every year. Mm. Wow. I'm just hey, happy uh, that he was a Met at one time. I never I got to see him. I can't. I can't. I ain't never gonna get to the top of the food chain with Willie Mays and Hank Aaron. Oh man, look at him. So recently, Kevin Pillar, who was you know great, he's a great defensive outfielder. Yeah, just got traded from Toronto Blue Jays to, to San Francisco and had a chance to visit with Willie Mays, and Willie wanted to put his glove on and that kind of thing, and Pilar says, you have no idea how cool it is to know that Willie Mays put on my glove. And then, what, in the same week, this happened, and I talked about his, his ability uh, defensively in center field. Watch this catch by Kevin Pilar. Oh, man. <laughs> Almost out-jumped it. Okay, Spider-Man. Mm. What a great play. I never get tired of talking about Willie Mays and Hank Aaron. They're the, two of the greatest gentlemen in baseball players ever. And you, know what, and you know what's fun, too, is that, again, we've talked about my dad playing pro ball and pitching back in the 50s, and, and he pitched against all these greats, I mean, Arna, you which, know, is, which is awesome. Your what? dad, who was an amazing man, was just – and then I, I – because I still think it's amazing that he was a Marine. Yeah, because I got respect for anybody who go to the service. Yeah, played ball and 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 uh, and was a United States Marine. And he and when I when he faced Willie Mays, I looked. You know, um, Baseball Reference is a great site because you can look back there and look at head-to-head -head matchups. So I'm looking at Willie Mays against Ernie Johnson Sr. He went six for 16 off my dad. That's 375. Had one home run, and my dad struck him out twice. So. Um, uh, then I look specifically at a game, June 5th, the 1957. And my dad pitches seven and a third innings out of the bullpen, which is a lot. It's a lot, yeah. 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 And my dad always said, look, I wasn't good enough to start, wasn't good enough to finish. I was a middle reliever. And Willie Mays played in that game. And it was the only game my dad hit a home run in his big really? career <laughs> and, uh, at, the, at the polo grounds. And so um, and it, was just, it was just, it was just great so, memories so, to look see, at this. Your dad was a great announcer. A uh, great baseball player, uh -huh. he was in the Marine, and you just lowly Ernie Johnson. Yeah, TV yeah, and you know, look, he set the bar very high, and I just try to get closer to it every day. Well, you can't get so you, can't, you need to jump higher, bro. Yeah, I know I do. <laughs> I know I do. And and I, I'll even take BS like that from you <laughs> with a smile on my face. Oh, Ernie almost cussed you out. That was it. That's a I came cuss. About that Ladies and close. gentlemen, that I'll is a Ernie. cuss. About that. That is I'll a come cuss out, Ernie. with Ernie. I got your back. He, he's like that MF BS. It's 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 all. <laughs> It's all. I, I like there's, suit, Ernie. That's a great thing about initials, man. It's a, it'll hey. save you a fine from the FCC. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and one other thing, too, before we go to break. Our best of Ron Darling, our buddy. Yes, Ron, get well he's, soon, man. Uh, diagnosed with thyroid cancer. He's a great, just a great guy and a great broadcast partner to have. So, Ronnie. We're uh, thinking about you, Ronnie. about you, praying for you. You're you well, got Ronnie. this, man. You got it. Yes. Mm. 